Hey everyone, this is a quick rundown of the Midjourney updates for September. First up, Midjourney's image editor is about to receive a big update. The editor was first released in August and makes it easy to repaint, resize, and edit your Midjourney images. But any day now, you will be able to edit external images with the image editor. This is huge and I know a lot of you out there will be excited for this. As you might guess, there will probably be some heavy moderation around editing external images. There's also talk of implementing a depth control net feature into the new image editor, which could allow for capabilities such as changing a photographic image into a drawing, or perhaps adjusting the lighting in a scene. One thing to note is that they might gate some of the more advanced editor features to higher tier subscriptions or to those that have annual plans. It's not clear if this will happen right away, but just a possibility to be aware of. You may have noticed that Midjourney launched a new personalization page on the website to make it easier for users to get started with personalization. If you're new to personalization, this is a way for Midjourney to learn your preferred visual style and preferences and then apply that to your results. But first you have to teach Midjourney what you like. Click on start teaching to begin ranking image pairs. Here, click the image that you like best. Try not to overthink it. Once you rank enough image pairs, you can turn personalization on and begin using your personalized Midjourney model when you prompt. If you haven't tried personalization yet, I highly recommend you try it out. It only takes about five or 10 minutes to get your first personalization code set up. You can check out this video for more information. They've also set up different ranking levels to entice people to rank more image pairs, and I believe you get fast hours each time you hit a new level. Unfortunately, I was already maxed out at level eight when they started this, so I don't get any bonus fast hours. And if you're wondering, you can still get to image ranking tasks over on the tasks page. They have a new one where you can contribute to curating images that show up on the community explore page. From the grid of images, just click the one that you think deserves the most attention. You can also now set up personalization for the Niji model. Niji is Midjourney's anime trained model, so if you want to set up your own personalized Niji model, click Rank Image Aesthetics for Niji to get started. Just like with setting up personalization for the regular Midjourney model, you'll need to rank at least 200 image pairs. I rarely use the Niji model, but here are a few examples of results with and without my personalization turned on. Looking ahead, let's talk about V7. The team has decided to prioritize V7 development over a V6.2 release. V7 is in the development and training phase. They hit a few challenges and bugs and had to restart some of the training, which pushes back the release at least a couple of weeks. It should be out by the end of the year, likely in November or December, barring any further significant delays. V7 is expected to be better in a lot of things, including prompt accuracy, text rendering, improved knowledge, understanding both abstract and literal interpretations. V7 is also being built with 3D and video in mind. The team says that the video models are looking better every week, and there's a chance that we might see a V6 video model before V7 comes out. The first version will likely focus on short image to video animations. They are aiming for it to be simple, good quality, and not super expensive. They are still deciding on things like video length and resolution, but it's likely that we will see Midjourney video soon. As for 3D, they are wrapping up their data collection process and will start bigger training runs any day now. The basic workflow envisioned is that you'll create a Midjourney image and then maybe click a button that says make 3D, and then you can move the camera around within certain limits. And a few miscellaneous updates. We might get a sneak peek at the new storytelling tool in the coming weeks. The team is preparing for the first demos of the tool. It sounds like it will be more focused on world building rather than just image creation and will have a different user interface. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Midjourney does in that space. Starting October 1st, any fast hours that you purchase will expire after 60 days. Here's the email that I received if you wanna pause and read the details. Midjourney released a new survey as part of their data collection for researching potential connections between aesthetics and demographics. To take the new survey, go to tasks and scroll down to surveys. This one focuses on values and beliefs. The Midjourney team is also tweaking the explore feed algorithms to make it easier to see a variety of aspect ratios and not just portraits. They might drop the random and hot sections and replace them with new and top, so that's it for our September roundup. If you found this update helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even joining the Patreon community where I share monthly prompt collections and mid-journey guides. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.